Hi there. It is the start of a new week, or in Cambridge time, I guess it's still week four. Just came back from Sands, but it's got me some must. I stayed up late last night, just like sorting out my bullet journal, and I had a deadline to submit something by, and it was at midnight, or just before. And then I was doing art for the rest of the evening, which was really fun. But I did manage to get up and go to my lectures, so I'm really proud of myself. I helped my friend around a law fact because she's currently in a wheelchair, which opened me up to see different parts of the faculty I've not seen before. Um, Alright, that should open now. Yeah, oh, yeah, the other way. Oh, God, this, honestly, all these video games got me so much. I don't actually have any more commitments today, so I can just kind of bang things out. Just the plan. We'll see if that happens though. It's like minutes to four, minutes past four, and I've been eating. Lordy lord guys, I am a mess. This is what happens when you have too much in your social calendar. But I almost messed up this event that I'm hosting on next week Friday because I have to be able to train and I forgot to respond to the guy's email about getting trained and then missed the training yesterday but I thought it was gonna be next week. But I just said to myself, don't stress. So I'm a mess. I sent him emails and he's been so nice. He's rescheduled something and I'm going to get trained now. I'm like, yay, at least it's happening. But guys, the organization needs to be top notch. On a lighter note, I'm wearing my new Levi jeans that I got from the vintage sale and I love them. They're a bit too big around the waist, but so is everything and that can always go in. But they're flares. I love me a flare. power of the foil this is my broccoli and normally it's super hard but it's really really soft it's perfect it's perfect isn't this just so satisfying gone this appliance must be left to stand in an upright position for at least four hours before being switched on for the first time I just turn it off. It's okay. Whew! Good thing I read the instructions. Do not use detergents, abrasive powders, highly perfumed cleaning products, wax polishes, or cleaning products containing bleach or alcohol. Well, oi! I think it's fine. I haven't damaged my fridge, I promise. I've got, I've got two jackets somewhere. So, I went to like a link later to photo shoot thing. Um, where they did like a free photo shoot for Jews pictures and they were um, Nick Tings and that. I got here, it's in the queue for an hour, for five seconds. <laughs> we got the pictures really quickly. And that was the cycle home. And an essay. And every other commitment I signed up for this year. Oh, it's chilly. Good thing I brought my light. <laughs> uh, yeah, longbows, which uh -huh. we use by the uh, the archers on the medieval ages and stuff. Uh -huh. um, and they're like huge draw weights and they can kill a man from miles and miles and miles away. And short bows, which are like used on horseback and stuff. So On horseback? Horseback, yeah. Okay, so that's kind of like Lord of the Rings style. Yeah, short bows. Alright, thank you for tuning into your TED Talk.
just finished my food and I made seconds and I knew this would happen because the food is right here now but I'm hungry and the avocado is gonna go off soon so I had like a three hour nap and I'm helping out at this like subject master class for six form students who are coming to learn more about subjects and I'm gonna do like a tour of the college for the law students soon so I'm just getting some food and I found out yesterday that this toaster I've been using <laughs> isn't the kitchen's toaster it's actually my friend's toaster so thanks Lou supporting the movement I thought the kitchen's just supply the toaster Nice. The sun, the sun is shining today. A uh, day. So, I woke up <laughs> late. <laughs> Did you imagine? Drew woke up late again. What are the odds? Oh, I was about to send off like an application form yesterday for a scheme in order to get help with it. Didn't manage to do that. I went to a workshop that we have like a legal mythology half paper that we have to sit this year we have workshops for those so i went to that and then came back and i had to go sainsbury's to order stuff because i'm doing an event where we make like mock red packets to celebrate for the chinese lunar new year and i wanted to fill it with chocolate coins and fortune cookies and the sainsbury's near us don't have those so i saw that at sainsbury's further i did have it but in order for them to deliver it then you have to spend a minimum of 25 pounds and the like fortune cookies are only one pound packet so that wasn't gonna work my friend kindly offered to drive me to sainsbury's to get it and we drove to the sainsbury's but they didn't have it in stock and i was just screaming because the event is tomorrow and like I didn't really have time to go all the way to the far far Sainsbury's and get the food but we was going to try and do it anyway she was driving us on the way to the Sainsbury's and I was like you know sometimes like Chinese takeaway shops they sell the fortune cookies and we passed one so I was like let me just run in and see if they have and they did and so I mean, they had enough as well so I literally would just I just bought them from there and uh, my Amazon order came with the bags. Because it's not actual money, I can't put them in red envelopes, but I don't have that. So I just got these fancy red burlap bags. I think they look really cute and they can fit the snacks in. It's just gonna be a bit peak because there's only 25 bags and more than 25 people have filled in the form. So there will definitely be the first 25 get a nice bag. I'll just do it as like a, it was like a secret surprise that the first 25 people who filled it in, they get a nice bag because they show the most eager willingness to participate. And then other people will, I don't know, they'll get their stuff with an elastic band around it. We'll see what I can whip up. Anyway, it's been a bit of a hectic one just in the last few hours and like stress putting on myself. I'm looking forward to eating some Chinese tonight. It's like a run up to the event. I'm gonna go to the room now just so that I'm not late and set up. fun today and I'm feeling very crazy. I'm do some milk prep but I'll do it later. I've got couscous now so I've got late night snack that will be staying in my room. This is Pembroke College. So fun. 
It was a physical theatre workshop. We were learning how to lift people, and I got lifted. Like, I got lifted. I to lift someone. Oh, welcome to that breeze. It was so fun. What does that look like? Come on. Come on. 